We're going to see if there's a bunny out here. Come here. There was one I just saw. Right now? Um, right there. Oh, do you see it? Yeah, there's a bunny. Look. Why would you see it? Look at where the light is. What about the other side? Yeah, it was cute, bunny. Three dogs. We got three dogs in the house. That is Pua. You guys know Ginger and Zoe. That's Pua. Why does it get so grainy when I zoom out? Yeah, gross. Pua. Who is a Frenchie? She also asked, what else did you want? Just corn and one cornbread? Two cornbread. So can she get an extra cornbread? Yeah, so we'll do corn on the top, cornbread, and then cornbread for her bread. And then I'll bring another plate because she wanted cornbread for her brother. Yes, she wanted. Okay, Trust so we'll come with one and then one. Right. <laughs> Very cute. Look at her. Good job, Lila. Oh, how are you? you ready? Here we go. I have fat hands. You already fall? This is our one and only last ice cream. Is this too much? No. Daddy, how are you? Yeah, pay the piggy. Okay. Pay the pig, guys. I, I got lava gum. You're bartering with the pig. Coins for candy. What? But how did the pig get so much money? Because a lot of kids want a candy. Yep. Uh, I got some. Okay, let's sing happy birthday to you. Still not ready. All right, we do. Everybody gather around him. You can't be so far because then you'll go. Okay. No, over there, guys. No, right there. That's good. There you go. All right. All right. Happy birthday. Baby back rib instead of the uh, St. Louis. Oh, 
I saw that. Is it good, Maya? And they yeah. come with the uh, corn on the bread. Oh, I mean, corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Did you try the fried onion? Onion ring? No, I didn't. Um, what size do you want? It's a small size. Thank you, medication. Yes. Look at the man. No, he doesn't. Really? Surprise. Wow. He says full. We talked to him about overeating, you know? He does that before and throw up. Mm. Big surprise. Mm. Alright, that's it then. Big surprise. No. Okay. That's why I say my stomach for dessert. The mother and son. No eat. More fast. <laughs> hey YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another one of my videos. As always, if you like what you see, please click the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you think the video could help anyone else, please share it. And if you have any questions, just leave one below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So we are in South Florida this weekend. Um, it's the weekend right before I attempt my max tomorrow on Monday with Doug. And we're down here in South Florida to celebrate my dad's 65th birthday, which was on Friday. And my mom's birthday is actually on Monday. My cousin's birthday is on Tuesday. Lila's birthday is at the end of the month. So yeah, February is a busy month for us as far as birthdays go. So I want to circle back and talk about the max out tomorrow on Monday. Uh, I'd answered some questions previously in the comments section asking about when I was going to max out. And I kind of said that I didn't really want to max out until I thought I was going to hit a new PR just because I wasn't interested in, you know, hitting like 395 or 390, wherever I'm at again, until I was back in the 400s. Well, I, I, I think I'm pretty close to the 400s, again, at least for a touch and go rep. And um, also Doug's maxing out. So I think that him maxing out, being so close to, you know, when I'm back in the 400s that it just, I think it could motivate each of us if we just maxed out together. So that was a huge part of my reasoning and max out on Monday. And now, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but now we've got Michael who may also be maxing out with us. You've seen him in a prior uh, video when he was doing close grip bench and I was asking him questions about that lift well as far as I know he's planning to max out with us so if we've got three people maxing out on the same day at the same time all part of my gym community that's really exciting stuff for me hopefully it uh, encourages them to push a little bit harder as well but I know it sure as heck motivates me to to leave it all on the bench tomorrow with that said, I also owe you guys a big old thanks for encouraging, motivating, inspiring me to push my hardest each and every time. Um, you guys just keep me going, man, with the dialogue and the community and you guys helping grow the channel. It means so much to me. And um, and I feel like if I have a bad session, that, that there's more than me having a bad session at stake. It's the rest of the community who doesn't get as good of a pump from watching the videos and stuff so you guys really encourage me and thank you for that i owe where i am at currently to you guys for pushing me i can remember when i first started back in the gym and i was doing 135 for 20 reps and i was getting it was hard it, those are hard reps but i didn't give up you know, I posted the video, you guys were really encouraging and you know, I, I, you guys were going through the same exact thing. So we helped elevate each other. Um, it's super encouraging to read of your own rec PRs that you experience. And thank you for sharing those updates with me. As I inspire you guys through the videos, you inspire me through your comments. So thank you again, keep it going. I appreciate it. Also, quick update, as you guys know, I always have like four, maybe five sessions um, in the backlog waiting to be edited and uploaded for you guys. But as you know, the day after you watch this video, I will be maxing out. So I am committing to um, making sure that that footage gets all updated and or are all edited and uploaded for you for um wednesday's session so you don't have to wait two weeks for all the footage to catch up that doesn't 
make too much sense. Um, I, I want to show you as relevant pos as possible, especially if I'm going to do something like max out. So don't want to make you have to wait. So you have my word. So that was Lewis, very cool guy. Um, during my sets, I definitely felt the energy coming from him. So I appreciate him uh, encouraging me and um, helping me lift heavy and all that good stuff. But man, rotator cuff injury, like a tear that he had, huge concern for me. So yeah, I've always been concerned about having a rotator cuff injury. Um, I don't know how to prevent them other than doing what I do now, properly warming up, stretching, listening to my body, uh, making sure that nothing feels weird. Um, but if you guys have any advice, now's the time for, I, I guess, feedback on rotator cuff. Has anyone had that injury? How did it happen? How can you prevent it uh, from happening again? I'd appreciate any feedback you guys have on that. Uh, this video is going to end really short guys i'm sorry but i was literally rushing to the dentist that was an hour away after uh, right after this session so i had to cut it short i was still like five minutes late that's it for this one thank you guys again for watching i hope you enjoyed what you see if possible please send some positive thoughts some strong thoughts over into me and over to doug for our uh max out monday thanks again for watching appreciate you guys Got to catch you guys a fish. Last time I took Lucas out, we got skunked. It's not a good feeling, but he had fun somehow, which is good. It's not always about the catching. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, how did how did he not find the hook? That was awesome. That was a good strike. Holy smokes. Is it an otter or a bunch of big old carp? Or a gator. Could be a gator. I'm throwing really close to the bank, the shore, because that's usually where the fish catches are here. Or at least in little ponds from my experience. They like to be pretty close to the shoreline, but I mean, look at this place. It used to be surrounded with brush, bushes, little trees, and now they've cut everything down. 
the water had gone up so high with like flooding like it was more flooded than I'd ever seen and now all the water is receded and looks like they cut down the whatever trees and brushes were here it's all it's all been cut so I'm not really sure where the fish are hopefully they're hopefully they're still in here and uh, living their best lives that right there right there right there right there used to be an old fish bed the water is receded and the bed is now out of the water don't know what kind of fish most likely either tilapia which there's a ton of them in here bass or bluegill i want to say tilapia it's like a perfect perfect circular bed a little brush right in the middle of it for them How did that happen again, guys? I swear, there are hooks on here. See, hooks. I even gave him time to eat that time. Ah! Thank you for letting me vent. We'll try again. I know I'm gonna get one at this corner here. I've caught so many fish right at that corner. Nice subtle entry. See, it's just a frog on land. Oh no, I fell in the water. I hope a fish doesn't eat me. Wink, wink. All right, I guess there are no fish in that corner. Last cast in this corner, I guess I was wrong. There are no fish over here. All right, parallel to the shore. It's gotta be a money cast, gotta be, just gotta be. Too much time in the strike zone, which is right where I'm at, for there not to be one bite. Sometimes I convince myself like that I know what I'm talking about when I have no idea. Oh, I'm gonna get a bite. Well, the anticipation was fun, but the lack of follow through was not. I don't understand these fish. They just, they bring it down and that's it. They never like actually bite the thing. They're just like swiping at it. guys.